Well, seeing the horrific toll the war is having on families and children in Ukraine, it is understandable if many of you are feeling sad and overwhelmed at the terrible news. So it's important to make sure that we stay informed, but also check in on our own wellness. So joining me here today is Nishani Washington. She is the health and wellness instructor at the Soma Institute of Chicago. Nishani, thank you so much, because this is so important right now. We see the images. We are bombarded with them day in, day out. Is it okay? Is it common to feel badly about this? Definitely. It is common. I mean, we are human and we identify with people's pain and struggle. So that's totally normal for us to identify with that. The problem comes when we are just bombarded constantly by this information and we're not really helping ourselves to keep our wellness in check. So how do you do that, especially for kids? Because we see the children and we see all the children who are becoming refugees, as we just said. How do we tell our children that it's okay to feel like this, but to keep them well? Yes, Mentally. yes, yes. My daughter actually came home the other day with a Save Ukraine uh, poster. And I really feel for the children who are watching this on the news. And there's a few things that you can do to just really establish mindfulness for them, to check in with them, to make sure that you are keeping the lines of communication open, that you are allowing them space to really feel and check in with their bodies yeah. and understand what's happening in the world. It's like addressing that monster under the bed, you know, right. just giving them time to really uh, sit with their feelings and their emotions and they'll be safe to come back to you at any time. Is there an age group that's going to be affected more than another? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say no. I mean, we're all being affected, yeah. you know, from young to the old, you know, and I teach um, my class at Soma Institute about how we can help others create mindful moments for pe people, just establish peace and calm throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe helping, going to volunteer at places that are packing up uh, goods and services to take to Ukraine, does that help? Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. A lot of times we feel out of control. Mm -hmm. We don't have uh, something that we can do about it. And being the peace that we want to see is really important. And I think part of that does include volunteering and, and getting out and doing what you can as an individual to help. At what point do we seek therapy? Do we seek help when it's getting to be too much for us? Yes, definitely. Well, I see a lot of people who are handling their emotions, but when it gets to the point where you're ruminating things day in and day not, day in and day out, and maybe you're depressed and you're feeling the anxiety is too much for you to handle, you should definitely reach out for a therapist at that point. For now, should we turn off the media pictures and stop reading the bad stuff? Or should we continue reading it, but with a different attitude? Definitely you want to have a different attitude okay. and perspective about gotcha. it. Just weighing the fact that we want to be informed, right? right. We want to know what's going on. We don't want to feel like we're not uh, capable of really Handling looking it. back yeah, yeah, yeah. in history and saying, yeah, we were involved, mm -hmm. but also being able to say, I'm going to take some mindful moments out for myself to create that peace and calm throughout the day, go for a walk, do some meditation, maybe some yoga. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Meditation and yoga, definitely. Nia Shani, thank you so much for joining us. Nia Shani Washington with the Soma Institute. Thank you.